plug. Really? <laughs> that was sweet. That was sweet. <laughs> What'd she do? I went at Evelyn. <laughs> Whoa, you got a lot. Did you see in here? Did you check in here? Squirrel. There is a lot in the kitchen. No, this is one I got plum on this. You can have that one, Barry. You might need to get a chair. I'm coming. Hang on. That one. It's not Bro. Oh. This one, that one, and that one. Well, Evelyn, you kind of lost. Evelyn, find the eggs. <laughs> Rope, go find more eggs. Look at that one. Thank you. Is it at the stairs? Found one. I can't get it down though. I found one. What is it? Tip the picture frame. Tip it. No, no, not take it. That's not tipping it. It's fine. We'll get them for you. Those are plums. Rogue, Rogue, get out over here and... I found a frog! <laughs> I found one! <laughs> I need help me! Come on. I found one. Frog, can you help me? There is a lot of easy ones. I found one! Rogue, are you already eating yours? Did you find a lot? I found two! Did you find one? A cow. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna find any more. Why? There's at least 16 more. Look, it's only up to the top. You got a basket full. We'll go look through your eggs. You can find look them later. Mine. Dang. <laughs> Karen, I, let me see I've yours. I've been finding a lot of hidden ones. Wow. You got a frog and a cow and a glitter and animal print. Oh, and a piece of candy. Rogie, what you got? There's a ball on it. Hi. Happy Easter. We've had a good Easter so far. Now it's just the aftermath, all the mess. Oh, thank you. It's been pretty chill. One of the things that we do is we keep all the eggs in a bag for the Easter Bunny next year so he doesn't have to bring more, right? He just has to fill them. Look at all that candy. These things. They love them. They're annoying to parents because... They can't put anything in them. But the girls are upstairs getting ready for Easter. The boys are just going to chill, and then we're going to head to Grandma's house because she does her own Easter egg hunt, and she gets the kids' baskets. And then we'll take you guys along. Bye-bye.
things that I do, I get them a lot of candy. But if it's on the floor or like it's left on the couches or anything, anytime I see it, I throw it away. Because they don't need that much candy and then we end up having candy for months. So like right now you'll see I did the initial clean cleanup and I a lot of it ended up in my trash. <laughs> And then um, I'll let them have it for the next couple days and then typically I end up like putting it on top of the fridge and then it stays there until I throw it away because I don't like them to eat that much. But they enjoy receiving it and hunting Easter eggs and doing all the things. So I just did a really quick cleanup. I've already thrown the grass away and I've already collected the eggs. So now that all that's left is their candy and their Easter stuff. All right, I'm getting ready to go to grandma's. I told Plum 11 and she set a timer. So I have six minutes. But I did try something new this year. So when the kids woke up, I went and I assessed all of the eggs and where the Easter Bunny hit them. And usually with Lily and Carter and everyone here and all the other years, I've done it different ways. Like one way I did it where the living room was what Baron and Rogue could find. And then Evelyn and Plum could find the dining room and Lily and Carter could find the kitchen. Kind of just break it up in age brackets so that one kid doesn't get overwhelmed, like doesn't find all the eggs. And then like last year, what I did was if the eggs are easy and out in the open, like on the floor or setting on the couch, then those were for the little boys and everything else you could find. But this year I decided just to try it. So. I came down and assessed where all the eggs were. They were in all kinds of places. And so I just didn't give them any rolls and said, go for it. And honestly, it created a lot of like sweet moments because Evelyn naturally would like find one for herself and then she would call Baron over and would be like, look, here's an egg. And, or like I would see Plum find them, but then leave them where they sit to let the, the, little boys find them and then they kind of there was no fighting there was no nothing they were just running around finding eggs all excited and they weren't worried about how many who had each and because I found like it was just I realized that my girls because we don't have the link Carter this year are just naturally sweet and they care for their siblings and it was chill Aaron and I could just sit on the couch and I think I We'll just let them do it that way every year. I get worried because with the age brackets, with having like a two and a four year old, and then a six year old, eight year old, nine year old, and 10 year old, I feel like the nine, 10, and eight would just like, you know, take over. Like yesterday when we went to the Easter egg hunt, Evelyn got lumped with the six and older. And honestly, she got trampled. She got two eggs because the big kids because it was like behind a fence and then they just said go and so all the parents are behind the fence well all the big kids just kind of trampled her and took everything and so that's what I was like worried about here but it just it worked out and I realized that my kids are super sweet the girls were sweet the boys were happy rogue and like naturally Baron Plum and Evelyn didn't pick up any that were just on the floor they just left them so it was sweet all right we're gonna head to grandma's Okay guys, so now we are going to go to Grandma's house because we just had to Easter Bunny. We're going to get whole Easter baskets and we're going to find whole eggs. So we all have like different colors and Rogue is pink, Evelyn is green, Baron is yellow, and I am orange. So that's what color Easter eggs we have. And Rogue is pink! Yes. Uncle, Uncle, I will. Okay. We got bubbles. Grandma just texted and said she's hiding them right now. So we'll be there by the time. Okay. Yeah! Yeah, they do. They talked about it the whole way here. Oh, Rogue is pink. Look, he went right to his. Good job. Look, now he can't do the bag. <laughs> See, now he can't do it. Gives him something to do. That's why he was perfect with the. Uh... That's why I wanted to give it to him. <laughs> That's like, you want to be a bug. yelling at him on Easter. He'll get it. Look, he got it. Yes, Rogue. No, you have no, to do green, okay, pink. No, no, pink. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, you get all your papers. Do you still see what I have? Yes, I do. Yeah. Rogue, do you see any? She climbs yours a little bit harder. Oh, 
He's opening them though. both ways. Okay, go. Evelyn, you know slippers are meant for inside. Got all the kids in bed and it's finally time for me to start work and then go to bed. I am exhausted, but it was an amazing Easter. I think I, Aaron and I were just talking. I think it's our favorite one yeah, it was just calm. Like the kids weren't fighting, they were being kind to each other, they weren't asking what's next. It just was, it was a good Easter. But we did go on an Easter egg hunt yesterday, which I think I mentioned earlier, and I'm just gonna include some clips of it after I say bye to you guys. So happy Easter to all of you guys. Thank you so, from, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Evelyn, what are you getting? What kind? <laughs> <laughs>